Today I'm gonna to share with you guys some of my favorite keto pumpkin recipes. These are ones that I have on my website, so make sure you click down below so you can access all of those recipes. I have a ton of different keto pumpkin recipes. It was way, way too much to put in this video, but these are some of my favorites that I thought I would share with you guys. <laughs> Up first, we're making keto pumpkin spice waffles. You wanna start by cracking in one egg into a small bowl, one ounce of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, make sure you get the 100% pumpkin puree and not the pumpkin pie filling. And in here, I have a tablespoon of coconut flour, two teaspoons of sweetener, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and then a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and an eighth teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. You're gonna mix these all together. I recommend using an electric mixer because it does a better job of breaking up the cream cheese, but you could certainly use a fork or a spoon if you wanted. And then you're just gonna pour this into your waffle maker. I'm using a waffle maker by Dash. This is the mini Dash waffle maker, and this one has a cute little pumpkin on it, so it's perfect for this time of year. You wanna close it and let it cook for around two to three minutes. Now these waffles don't get super crispy. They have more of a spongy texture like a cake, um, but they're super good. It's how I do my dessert chaffles and it's definitely worth it. So you could dollop a little bit of whipped cream and a little bit more of that pumpkin pie spice and this has satisfied any of your pumpkin cravings. And of course, this season is all about carving pumpkins. And it's a fun tradition that I always like to do with my kids, but I always never know what to do with the seeds. I'm gonna make them sometimes. Sometimes I end up just putting them in the compost. But I decided I was gonna do a keto recipe and make some delicious pumpkin seeds that were more chocolate-based. So to make these keto chocolate covered pumpkin seeds, I've teamed up with Cacao Bliss. These are my friends over at Earth Echo that put out this product. It is a raw cacao powder based product with a bunch of superfoods in it like turmeric and lacuma and cinnamon. It has an incredible flavor and it's usually, most people use it in their coffee, but I love to bake with it just because it provides such a unique flavor. If you guys are interested in trying Cacao Bliss, I'll have a link down below in the description box on how you can save on your order. Pumpkin cutting tool. So I finally get that top off and then you can already see the delicious pumpkin seeds stuck to this that I'm gonna prick off and then set aside in the bowl. Now it's okay when you're scooping out these seeds if you get some of that orange stringy stuff on it, that's no problem at all. Um, it'll come off when we do our next step, which is to wash it in cold water. So you can see I've retrieved all of my pumpkin seeds and they have a lot of that orange goop on it. So what we're gonna do is just run these under cold water and that orange goop will easily come off. Now in order to get the inside of our pumpkin seeds to have flavor, I'm gonna cook these in a little bit of salt water. We're gonna boil it, we're gonna add two cups of water, plus we can do one or two teaspoons of salt and then bring that to a boil along with your pumpkin seeds and let it cook for around 10 minutes. This will just help that salty flavor infuse inside the seed. It won't be overly salty. It'll just be enough so that they're not so bland when you bite into them. Then we're gonna drain off that water and put it into a large bowl. And we'll add two tablespoons of melted butter, two to three tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup, and then one to two tablespoons of cacao bliss. Now, as always, if you don't wanna use Cacao Bliss and you just don't wanna purchase one more thing, just substitute with cocoa powder instead. Make sure it's 100% unsweetened cocoa powder and that will work just fine. You might have to add some additional sweetness since Cacao Bliss does have some monk fruit sweetener in it. Now, even though Cacao Bliss already has a hint of cinnamon, I'm gonna add in an extra half teaspoon of cinnamon along with a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix that together until your seeds are evenly coated with all of our mixture. And then we're gonna spread this out onto a baking tray. I have a parchment lined tray here. You wanna make sure you spread these out far enough because if you put them too close together, they'll steam instead of get crispy. So after baking them in a 400 degree oven for around 10 minutes, here they are. They are nice and toasted and crispy and they are perfect. They are just lightly sweetened with a little bit of chocolate flavoring. 
Up next, I thought I'd share a different type of recipe, which is a keto pumpkin Alfredo. So in a large skillet, we're gonna add six tablespoons of butter and heat that over medium heat, and then add in two cloves of minced garlic and cook until you can smell the garlic, so this will take about a minute. Next, we're gonna add in one cup of pumpkin puree. Once again, make sure you're using 100% pumpkin puree. And then a half of a cup of heavy cream. We're gonna season this with an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that until it's mixed. And we're gonna let this simmer over medium heat until the sauce has thickened. It should take around three to five minutes. Once it's thickened, you wanna remove it from the heat, and then we're gonna stir in a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. And at this point, you can add your noodles. I'm using shirataki noodles, but you can use hearts of palm noodles or zucchini noodles. I'll have my favorite brands listed down below for you in the description box. And this pasta is so creamy. It just hits the spot for this time of year when you're really craving that comfort food, and pumpkin Alfredo is the best. And of course we have to make some pumpkin donuts. This is my favorite recipe for keto pumpkin donuts. You wanna start by adding one and a half cups of almond flour, a half a cup of coconut flour, and a third cup of sweetener. And then here I have baking powder, baking soda, salt, xanthan gum, and ground nutmeg. You wanna whisk that together until it's combined and then set that aside. Then in a large bowl, we're gonna add a half a cup of pumpkin puree, a quarter cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of buttermilk. Now you can make your own buttermilk too by just using heavy cream and vinegar. One egg plus one egg yolk. And then we're gonna mix this together until it's creamy and smooth. Next we're gonna add in some mozzarella cheese. So this is one cup of mozzarella cheese that we're gonna melt down in the microwave and then add that to our mixture. And then we're gonna combine all of our mixtures, the wet ingredients with the dry and then the cheese as well. Now the cheese is just here just to give this like a certain texture and consistency, but don't worry, it's not gonna taste cheesy at all. I'm using an electric mixer to mix this, but you could actually mix this together faster in a food processor. Once your dough is combined, you're gonna pinch off around 12 dough balls, roll them into a ball between the palms of your hands, and then press them into a donut pan. We're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for around 12 to 14 minutes. Once they finish cooling, we're gonna let them cool in the donut pan for a couple minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack. And then meanwhile, we're gonna work on our pumpkin spice glaze. So in a small bowl, we're gonna combine one cup of powdered sweetener of choice, a third cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of buttermilk, or once again, you can just use more heavy cream and vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Whisk that together until it's smooth. And then now you just dip your donuts into this glaze and then return it to the wire rack to set. You can sprinkle on crushed nuts like walnuts or pecans. Definitely makes it taste like fall. Mm -hmm. 